I have been trying to do this exercise for the last 30 minutes and I feel I'm going insane. Try to check the answer to see I will be able to understand what I'm supposed to do, but it's not helping. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one together. Right here we have the integral going from 0 to pi of sine of 2x times cosine of x. If you're learning integrals for the first time, then I will tell you, integrals are hard because there are so many ways to do integrals. And sometimes an integral is not even possible. But I will first work this out for you and I'll tell you more about this later on. So here's one thing. When you have sine cosine, make sure the inputs are the same. But they're not. This is 2x, this is x. But it's okay. Because first, if you look at sine of 2x, we have the double angle identity for sine. And yes, you will still have to remember a lot of the trig identities from your trig or pre-calculus class. Sine of 2x is equal to 2 times sine x times cosine x. That's just a double angle identity. And then you still have this cosine x. Now, let's just go ahead and clean things up a little bit. We have 2 times this. We can put the 2 to the outside. And then the integral. And here is just sine x. Cosine x times cosine x. Usually we write this as cosine square x dx. Now, how do we proceed? This is the hardest part for this question. Hmm. Because I cannot think about the roof of what function will give me this right away. So let's go ahead and go to the u world. What I mean by that is we will have to do a u substitution. At the moment, it might not be easy to see u is equal to what. And the problem for that is because of this notation sometimes. So I would recommend you to do the following. Still write down 2 integral 0 to pi sine x. But this notation really means we have cosine x and then square like this. Cosine x times cosine x. Once you write it down like this, I will tell you, in many situations, the u is just the inside function. Not all the time though, but in this case, yes. In many situations, also yes. So I am going to put u equal to cosine x and then we'll just proceed and hope for the best because sometimes that's not going to work but anyway so what i mean by proceeding is you look at this and differentiate both sides the derivative of u is just du you can just write it like that but the key is knowing that the derivative of cosine x remember that is negative sine x put the du on the left hand side and then on the right hand side, attach a dx. It's always going to be like that. Okay, once you have the u and also the du, remember the original integral, here we have the dx. I call this that we are in the x world. When we do this, it will help us to bring this integral to the u world. What we are going to do is, we also need to get the dx by itself. So if you look at this right here, this is negative sine x times dx. I'm going to divide both sides by negative sine x, like this. So that this and that cancel, and then I can get dx equal to du over negative sine x. Now, I'm going to follow the solution because for the solution, they worked out the indefinite integral first and then they plug in values so i'm just going to make a little note right here what they did is they just look at the integral without the zero and the pipe all right so i'll do that so this is just two and then actually i'm just going to do the integral sine x and then cosine x squared dx with these right here I'm going to go to the u world. Sine x stays for now, but this right here is what we said to be the u. So we have u squared. dx, we said as du over negative sine x. 
and these are all multiplication. One thing you have to remember is that oh, du, we are in the u world. Once we are in the u world, x is not allowed. But here we have sine x, and this is dividing by negative sine x. They cancel out. Very nice. Huh? Alright, and then we have a negative, we can bring that to the outside. You have the negative right here, and we just have to focus on integrating u squared du. Now, once we are in the u world, good things are happening. Let me tell you that. Either we recognize this as the derivative of some function, or you can just use the reverse power rule. Right here, you can use the reverse power rule because we have u to a power, right? So let's go ahead and add 1 to the power. The new power is 3, and then we are going to divide it by the new power. So I just put a 3, well, one third in the front. So this integral here is equal to negative 1 third, and then u to the third power. But what's u though? u is equal to cosine x. So this is just negative 1 third. And then let's write cosine x and then to the third power. All right, that's just this indefinite integral part. I'm not going to put on the plus d because we still have to do the zero and also the pi. When we have a definite integral, you don't need to put a plus c. All right, so this right here is just that. Now, with that being said, here we have this 2 right here. And then we multiply by this result. Right, this result that we got earlier, which is negative one third cosine x to the third power. And then we are going to plug in 0 and pi like this. So this right here is negative two third. And then this really means cosine x to the third power and then plug in 0 pi. Plug in, zero, plug in pi first, sorry, plug in pi first. So cosine pi, and then third power that, and then remember, you have to subtract, right? this is the first part, subtract the second part, you plug in zero. This is needed because cosine zero is one. So you have to work that out. So this is negative two third, cosine zero, and then still the third power, like so. Okay. Cosine of pi is negative 1. Negative 1 to the third power is negative 1. Times this is positive 2 third. And then cosine of 0 is 1. 1 to the third power is 1. And then it's just that. And then negative negative becomes a positive. So finally, 2 third plus 2 third, we end up with 4 third. And that is the answer. There are ways that you can actually just work out the integral in the u world because this right here is x is equal to 0, x is equal to pi. If you want to end up everything in the u world, you will have to change the values right here, but that could be a discussion for another video. I did this right here just to show you this is how the solution did it. And I will tell you, sometimes when you read the solutions, they will skip steps because just like this, they went from here to here. That's why you get lost. And you have to be able to work out the previous part, which is the use substitution when there are no numbers here. And I do have plenty of videos on how you do integrals. I recommend you to check that out. But hopefully this helps. If you have more videos, if you have more integrals, if you have more integrals, and if you have more questions, and if you have more calculus questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know. That's it.